That day, like many others, I was on the park with my daughter when I saw her speaking to a stranger. I didn't consider the matter worrying, so I called out to her saying, My darling, don't be a nuisance. Good afternoon. Allow me to introduce myself. Charles D, Professor. A pleasure indeed, Professor. Ellen Rhodes, mother. <laughs> Your the daughter is very sharp-witted. Oh, <laughs> did she bother you? No, she, no. She can be so forward no, sometimes. No, not at all. <laughs> She's very charming and well-mannered. Even if she doesn't yet know about the man-eating monster plants of Patagonia, <laughs> which... which <laughs> <laughs> I hope Beatrice hasn't wasted too much of your time. No, 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 no. She was absolutely charming. In actual fact, she was helping my friend, Stella, solve a riddle that he's been worried about for the last couple of days. And to both our amazement, she guessed the correct answer straight away. And what, if I may ask, was the riddle? Of course you may ask. If you give me food, I will live. If you give me water, I will die. What am I? If you give me food, I will live. I have no idea. <laughs> did be answer? Yes, she did, and very quickly as well. Um. Food, I will live. Water, I will, I will die. I give in. <laughs> what is it? Uh, fire. <laughs> <laughs>